Good morning, I'm Corey Duke. I'm Justin Fisher. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. There is a way that you can support Ukraine right here in Green Country. The Oklahoma Blood Institute announcing a support Ukraine blood drive through the end of the month. For every donor who forgoes a free t-shirt, OBI will donate $10 to the Global Blood Fund. That charity supports Ukrainian blood banks. The state Supreme Court says a case aiming to stop a special election to fill outgoing U.S. Senator Jim Inhofe's seat it doesn't fall under state jurisdiction. The court has denied the application of original jurisdiction, saying the case belongs in federal court. That means for now, candidates are still running the race for Inhofe's seat until a court says otherwise. A new bill, House Bill 2025, requiring medical marijuana businesses to display their licenses in a conspicuous location or manner easily visible to anyone entering the business. Also passing, Bill 4287 would require processors and growers to sell certain products in prepackaged form. All right, well, let's head out the door. Let's check out our Friday forecast with meteorologist Andy Brown. We have got a fantastic Friday. We're going to start off, though, chilly conditions. You need to have the coat. But by the afternoon, we're talking about 60 degree warmth returning. So 30s this morning, plenty of sun. We're going to keep some north winds around, so it's going to keep a little bit of an added chill. As we look towards the next five day high temperatures heading towards those 80s by Monday, 79 by Tuesday. We do have our next round of precipitation arriving by Tuesday. Better chances on Wednesday. Corey and Justin. All right, Annie, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Let's look at some of the stories making headlines today. Stick with 2 News Oklahoma for updates all throughout the day.